What is up guys, it's Sam here from Create Everything and today I'm going to show you how to create this really cool 3D depth effect in Adobe Illustrator. I used this effect in a recent video on my other channel called Rebrand Everything for the Xbox logo. You can see here that I've got this X looking like it's kind of cutting out of the shape around it. Once you know this technique you'll be able to use it on any shape so let's get started. First things first I'm going to get my speech marks. Aerial black because I want these to be square to achieve the effect in the picture I just showed you. I'm going to outline that with Command Shift and O and then delete one of them because I'm going to apply the 3D effect and then duplicate it. Then I'm going to go up to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. In the presets go Isometric Top, that Extrude Depth to Zero, Surface, No Shading, OK, Object, Expand. And if I go into Outline Mode you can see that we have our perfect shape now. Next part of the process is to take all of the top parts, so imagine there was like a light shining from above, everything that would catch that light, you take that, copy it, paste in front with Command and F, and then select the main object, I'm going to press Command and 3 to hide that. And now you'll see that we've got the top edges, I want to apply a stroke to them, so I'm going to make this one light blue. And then I'm going to ungroup this, copy this, paste in front again with Command F, and then take it quite far down. And then change the bottom one here to a darker color. And then highlight with the selection tool this go object, blend, make. And then I'm going to press shift and highlight over everything to deselect this and select this. Do exactly the same again, blend, make. Um, if yours doesn't look like this, when you do the blend function, go to blend options and just change that to smooth color. And now I'm going to unhide the graphic I hid by pressing command alt and free. See that that's not like we're about to use this as a mask and I need um, to just bring these lines, bottom two lines down a little bit more. And I'm going to send these to the back and then I'm going to highlight everything and press command and seven. And there we have our nice 3D effect. So this graphic looks pretty good all the time you're going to use it on the web or down small in print. But when you actually zoom in, you can see that there's a problem here in this um, rectangle part here. So I'm now going to show you how to fix that. I'm going to command alt and 7 to release that top object, release the clipping mask. I'm going to hide the top object again. And then all I need to do is convert this into a rectangle. So I'm going to highlight the two endpoints and say command J. Oh no, I need to release the blend first. Still selected, command and J. That's actually done it wrong, so I'm going to get the pen tool. Just click between them tool again and click between them. Flip that around so we've got a fill not a stroke and I'm going to create a gradient. And then I'm going to press G on the keyboard for the gradient tool and basically I just need to run the gradient from top to bottom and I've just played with the angle here of the gradient just to make it look a little bit more natural and not so rigid going to unhide the graphic at the top, this guy, select all three elements, Apple 7 or Command and 7 again, and now we have a perfect clean edge and if you printed that on an exhibition panel you're not going to have any problems. So yep, that's how I created this and this works on any shape you can think of, you just have to remember to grab them top points and if you create anything cool with it, remember to let me know.